we doing? We're about to spray with a drone. Or we're not. We got a guy here spraying with a drone. I'm trying to get all of this mess back in order. I'm looking forward to it. So today we were, are with uh, Drayton Taft with Taft Drone Services and what we're doing is we're going to go through and our whole pasture or half the pasture has gotten away from us. There's sweet gums and other woody species that have grown up and we pretty much can only bush hog it right now when it's dry. When it get into October it gets pretty wet with rain and we can't maintain it the way we want to. So we're going to kill it all off again and try to bush hog it and maybe burn it. The drone's really good for areas just like this um, that stay wet, you know, you can't get a tractor in the spray or just bad access areas. We're spraying today is triclopyr ester, so it's a, it's a hardwood control and it, it actually controls pines too, but what I'll do is I'll fly it, map everything out, put in the rate and all that stuff and it'll go across there and spray it and it'll only kill the hardwoods and pines. So. All the native browse, all the native grasses, they'll still be there. It's just getting rid of those sweet gums and pines that they don't want in this area right here. This time of year, it's the best time when you're doing hardwood control or pine control because the trees and really all the plants are starting to move all their nutrients to the roots. So if you can, if you can spray it, and luckily we've had this good rain come through, mm -hmm. so it kind of freshened, like, you know, made them kind of jump back up again. Uh, since we had the drought, but now within the next couple weeks these trees will start moving all their nutrients to the roots and when they're doing that it's a lot easier to control them because that chemical gets in the plant and then goes to the roots. So you're not just killing the leaves. Yeah, you're not killing the leaves, <laughs> you're yeah. just spray yeah, killing yeah. the top actually, of the tree. And that's, that's our whole goal is to kill these things. Because we could have went, like we said, we could have come in and bush hogged everything. You know what's going to happen in the spring. They're going to come, come right, right back, back up. up. So, yeah. so yeah, we wanted to get in here and kill these hardwood trees. You know, to me, you know, everybody talks about bad trees and sweet gums are my, ugh, yeah. I hate sweet gums with a passion. If yeah. I could kill every one of them, I would. Yeah. And that's what, you know, this probably hadn't been sprayed in, or not sprayed, but actually been bush hogged in three years. And you see how, how high it gets, mm -hmm. but it's a low lying area. It stays wet mm -hmm. and man, sweet gums love it. And, you love know, it. and they'll go yep. from pencil size to 15 foot, you know, tall and, you know, two years. Yep. And then I what do you it. do? So. Instead of, yeah, the only way then is to spray them. Yeah, and we talked about going in and doing some bush hogging, but you know, you get in stuff like that, and the bush hogger handle it, the veil equipment will handle it, but you're going to, I'm going to tear something right up. Yeah, it's going to And I'm going to tear up. something up. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm the same uh, way. To get this done and, and come in here and, and burn it when we, you know, after we get everything done, then we might come in and run the bush hog over the veil, you know, the brush cutter or whatever, and mm -hmm. get the bigger stuff, but he'll right. be dead and it'll disintegrate. So. That's right. It's gonna be a big interesting to see how this turns out. I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah, me too.